Welcome back to my channel, guys. I know it's been a while, but today I am going to do a wash and go, and I'm bringing in some new products that um, I haven't used. I've had them for about two months now. So today we're doing Carol's Daughter New Line Prakashi, and I'm excited to use it. So I have the leave-in conditioner. I have the Curl Twisting Clustered. And I also have the Style Control Gel. And with this line, it's only these three products. And from my understanding, it's supposed to be really, really good for wash and goes with the definition. It prevents the frizz. Um, it clumps your curls really good together. And a lot of times, that's what we want. And in these products, they have Prakashi Oil um, and Shea Butter. So a lot of times when you see Shea Butter, um, those products are a little thicker, but we will see, and we will get this wash and go started. Um, one thing I have noticed about my hair when I'm doing a wash and go is that if I don't, y'all, I know, it looks crazy sitting on top of my head, but if I don't have soaking wet hair, my wash and goes do not go good. So you'll see me spraying my hair with water just so it'll be soaking wet so I know that the product will take well. And when it dries, I will have something looking good. So let me tame this a little bit and then we'll go on with my um, my lock method. I always start that way. So I washed my hair. I actually co-washed it with the Talia Wajid, um, the Coco Shea line and I deep condition with my macadamia natural oil and I sat under the steamer so you probably can see that's why my curls are like really popping because the steamer is the way to go so if you don't have one ladies invest in getting you one someone bought me one for my 30th birthday and I love it it gets hot under there but it's it's great Let me split this in half. And if you don't have these crocodile clips, ladies, you got to get them. They are the best known to mankind. I broke all of mine. And I went to TJ Maxx this morning to get me some before I even attempted to do a hair video. And I bought two packs because they do... They do break easily, especially if you're using them. And I use them weekly just because I do my hair weekly. So I'm going to start off with my leave-in. I like to put in a lot of leave-in. Because I like for my moisture to stay within my hair for a whole week. And y'all, this stuff smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. And already I can tell that I love the leave-in because look how clump these curls are getting already. If you can see them, let's see. There we go. And do the top. My hair looks like a wild child, but it kind of looks cute though. <laughs> That's one thing about natural hair. Your hair can look wild and messy, but sometimes it's just as cute as if it's in place on your head. Ooh, I love this stuff. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my O for my lock method, my black um, Jamaican castor oil. Go ahead and do this half of the side. And like I've mentioned in other videos before, this stuff is really thick, guys, so you don't need a lot. 
Um, I know you've probably heard other natural girls say a little goes a long way. And with this one, this one is really true. So, not much. And always coat those ends. Because that's where it's the most important on those ends. And my best friend, my dimming brush. I always go through with my dimming brush. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm pin that side up and I'm gonna hurry and do the other side. Okay, now that I have my leave-in and my oil-in, before I do my C for my lock method, I'm just going to start that as I do my wash and go. So I'm going to part just so I can wear it how I want to. And I'm still learning, guys, how to um, wear my wash and goes to the point that I really like it. So not only am I experimenting with a new product, I'm experimenting with how I want to wear my wash and go. Because like I said, I'm still new to the game with wash and goes. I really didn't start taking an interest into them until after I got my hair cut, which was about two months ago. And guys, you can see already how defined my curls are on the right side. Just from the leave-in and the oil, my left side is more of a wavy feel. It's always been that way. So, you'll see when I do the left side for my wash and go that I do a little bit more to get this side going how I want. And, of course, I will slick those edges down with, you know what, my best friend Talia, but that's not important right now. And we're going to get this wash and go underway. Now, the method that you will see me doing most of the time during this video is the raking method. Just because I love the raking method and my hair responds well to it. But you will also see me do shingling a little bit. Just because my left side just needs that extra. And you'll see me doing a little bit of scrunching as well. But you'll see as I get to the left side. Okay. Um, another important thing to do when you're doing your hair and if you're doing it in sections, you need to wipe your hands off periodically um, to get any like hair or old product that's not sticking in your hair or sitting in your hair just because you're moving from side to side. You want everything to be just about as even as possible. And I just knocked something down. I'm always doing something in these videos, guys. Hold on for a second. All right, we good to go. So, I'm just gonna wet this just a little bit. Now, because I haven't used um, this cream product before, or have I used a clustered before, I'm probably gonna start out with a good amount of product. And you always coat those ends first, ladies.
and already you see that the curls are starting to define. So I actually had a good bit of product in my hair for this small section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my gel, which I used um, as holding aspects or holding products when I'm doing my wash and goes. I always use that. I'm not to the point now where I could just use a cream and just go on about my business. I'm not there yet. I'm still perfecting my wash and goes. So I have about this much of gel and I'm rubbing it between two fingers and I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up. I'm gonna snatch these earrings out my ears directly, y'all. <laughs> I always seal it with my dimming brush no matter what method that I'm using. And then I'm gonna come back behind it with raking. All right, guys. I'm not liking this part here too much. So what I'm gonna do is, and that's one thing, if you see something you don't like, fix it right there and then fix it. So I'm gonna put a little bit more gel. Now that's better. So clearly I didn't have enough gel. Alrighty, let's keep moving on.